beautiful San Diego. Well, it was a little bit cloudy, but it's okay. The sun's going to come out anyways. But good morning, everyone, whether you're on the internet or if you are here in real life. I'm just glad that everyone was able to wake up and roll out of bed uh, because how many people went to go see Megan last night? Yeah. Her dancing, I was, I, I was struggling to be able to watch and then not pass out or just swoon onto the floor because she was absolutely fantastic. Who saw Master Chief start twerking? Also absolutely fantastic. But I hope that all of you guys are awake and ready because you are in for such a treat today because we have a very special show. Now, for some of you, you may have played this popular game over the course of the pandemic. Has anyone ever heard of Among Us? I knew that I saw some sussy bacas in the audience, all right? Well, one of the best things about Twitch is that it brings us together even when we can't physically be together. It can give us a sense of routine, community, and consistency. And when everything is going wrong in you know, your real life, you can always hop into a game and gaslight your friends. So everyone, this is the Morning Lobby. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. It's so nice to hear everyone's <gasps> yeah. voice. Yo. That's more like it, man. Let's go, Kimmy! Please not imposter, please not imposter, please not imposter, please not imposter. Oh, my gosh. I killed. Ew, what is this? Bro, I wish it was me. I wish it was me so bad, just so I could know what it feels like to kill in this game. Uh, I'm as serious as serious can be, Elam. Uh, it is nice to hear your voice, but I'd love not to hear it any longer. Why are you still talking? I just watched Koji do it again, Angel. Literally with my eyes, watch Koji do it again. I gotta say, my instincts, my entire being is just, this is a weird game. No, DK's crewmate AF. Man, I don't even know. How dare you, my wine sister. No, no, it's just when you get into <laughs> Ovalie again, I hate you. I hate you, Ovalie. <laughs> just two girls having a conversation right now. What the? Are we gonna f***ing do? Like, are we f***ing dead, Baba? I f***ing love Janet so much. <laughs> Oh my god, half is the jester! Just yeah, follow me out, oh my god. I can't do it! Look at that many people! I have to kill 20 people! This is amazing, I wasn't following this at all. I would have had your back. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I didn't click any time. I knew it too! Okay, and now we're done. <laughs> Now let's meet our imposters and crewmates for the morning lobby. Hapu! to the ship, but Steve, it seems like you brought someone else. It's the ghost of DK. <laughs> Rest in peace. We I couldn't find him a wizard hat, but it looks like he got a new TwitchCon haircut. But so he's also going bald, isn't he? <laughs> 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 
team. Wait, I can't turn off like this. Wait, hold on. That's horrible. I'm so sorry. DK, I'm so sorry. That being said, I know that you guys have met each other like in person before, but this is the first time that I've got to be in the same room as everyone. So I freaked out. Who else is freaking out right now? Because I usually just see jelly beans. I hear Five Up being a mastermind in all of these meetings. I hear Hafu with the, can we please get a signature, Deffen? Deffen. <laughs> oh! And of course, we just have the entire crew here. But that being said, guys, it's Sunday. It's the final day of TwitchCon. How has everyone's event been so far? It's good. been great. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. good. So voices are raspy now, you know? Like, everyone's voices are going a little it's bit. <laughs> it's been a, whew. I know. Backstage, everyone's like, okay, time to go on? Yeah. How early? But, Steve, you had a crazy night? <laughs> <laughs> this is so I heard of a weird story backstage and now I'm just trying to get him to say it. Oh no, no way, that's how you go <laughs> into I was like, I'm gonna ease into the story. Nope. <laughs> we have an hour to speak with everyone. Yes. We're yes. jumping into it. What happened? Well, it's also, it's not my story to tell. It's, it's not my story to tell. It's Koji. I gotta go to Koji. 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 Koji's the what victim. Happened? I can't believe we're doing an Among Us panel right now, and immediately it's going to be dominated by this story. I cannot actually <laughs> No, this group, it. this makes sense. <laughs> with this group, this very much makes sense. Now you're teasing them, you have to Do we really have to do this? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, yes. I want to hear it. <laughs> you're Get hyping it Do you guys want to hear it? It's not like when you guys, <laughs> they want to hear it. Just it. Sorry. It's okay. not a clappable story. I'm just going to tell you that this is like actually a living nightmare. It's really graphic. I, every, now when I lie in bed at night, this is all that plagues my mind. I am wow. Constantly, I'm constantly expecting it, expecting it to happen again. Okay. <laughs> you have right. to get up and do everything. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to do it back here, though, because I have the props. Fine. Okay, I, I need the props. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is if you ever think, if there's ever an opportunity to be in the same room with Steven Subtick and it's just you two, don't ever do it. Don't <laughs> ever, ever, ever do it. Okay, it's like four o'clock in the morning, right? I'm sleeping in bed. Center stage, please. I don't, I need the prop though. What's I'll use the this. Prop? Rob, <laughs> I'm scared about I need oh, the prop. Yeah. Talk about Trust this. me. You said this would take two minutes. Yeah, and I'm gonna try and get through. Go! <laughs> I need a prop. Okay. I'm asleep. I, I really need this sleep. I've been lacking sleep, right? I slept two hours the night before, so mm. I was like, wow, it's so nice to just be in wow. bed at <clears throat> peace, finally. Wait, this is the first night, by the way. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really important to know that. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true. So I'm okay. just there, finally getting some good sleep, and I wake up. I'm Just imagine this, right? You're in bed, you're all cozy, you're loving life, mm. you're snoozing, and you wake up to this. <laughs> and your like Steve was over me like this, <laughs> and I, I was like, "What on earth is someone in my hotel room?" So my immediate reaction was to strangle. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so I've got him by the throat, <laughs> and then like obviously I'm like delirious, and I'm like, "Oh my God, Steve, are you okay? Like, what's going on? Are you okay?" And he doesn't say a word, and then he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then I was like, oh my god, he's just like, on. he's so drunk, he just doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. And I like, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna roll over and go back to sleep. And I just hear like, boom, the guys just like stormed through the room into the, <laughs> into the chair and like tumbled over. And I was like, for God's sake, right, I'm just gonna ignore him. I'm just not, I'm gonna ignore him. So I like try and roll over. And then I've like heard him go over to like the balcony area where the curtain is. <laughs> Coincidentally, no, no. where this curtain is. <laughs> Right, my, there's like this curtain here in the balcony and my luggage is open in like two parts here. All my clothes. I look over. Steve is swaying above my clothes like this. <laughs> he's whipped out his pee pee and <laughs> he's about to wheel over my clothes. <laughs> I, I don't know how I got from my bed to him, but I must have actually flown like a hawk, just like. <laughs> I've grabbed him. I've like dragged him into the middle of the room. I'm screaming in his face like, Steve, you're going to wee on my clothes. What are you doing? <laughs> He's literally just like, leave me alone, man. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, so I've dragged him to the middle of the room. I'm like, okay, just go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, you're not in the bathroom. And he's literally, he walks straight back over to my suitcase and whips it out again. And he's just like right above my suitcase. I know what I want. I have to drag him into the middle of the room, right? And I'm just like, Steve, the toilet is this way. Please, you've got to listen to me. You're trying to wheel my clothes. My heart is like racing. 
And then he's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. The guy just walks through the hotel room like this. <laughs> and he goes, straight, he goes straight to the hotel room door, like the door of the room, and just whips out again on the door. And I'm just like, Steve, no, I sprint across the room. I don't think back. I see. Like, that's the toilet. You need to go in there. And he just goes, oh, thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I got back in bed and my heart was like racing. <laughs> and nice. I honestly, it was like my life flashed behind my eyes because I was like, my TwitchCon is over. It's a, the dream <laughs> is over. That's how your TwitchCon is. Because I didn't know if he had actually peed on my clothes at this point or not. <laughs> okay, so after hearing this story, I have just one question. Did you at least use the bathroom before the show? So this doesn't happen again? <laughs> Wait, no, I do have to take a shit. I really do. <laughs> I thought I could just suck it back up. What? I'm so Where sorry. <laughs> Koji, I need you to do the show. other the other part of the story where the cleaner came There's in. There's cleaner. Oh my god. <laughs> And I need, you to do, I need you to do the sounds you made as well on the podcast. Oh my god, I'm related, though, I'm related. Like, I have not been sleeping good with the jet lag and being in a room with Steve, it's just been, you know, that. And the cleaner comes in the morning, I'm like, no way. For some reason, the thing's been taken off the door to like the do not disturb. Yeah. And uh, I, I hear the cleaner knock and they pop their head in and they're like housekeeping or whatever. And I'm like, it's fine. I'm not gonna say anything because I just want to go back to sleep. I want to stay sleepy. Uh, they're gonna walk in the room and see us, right? They'll probably smell Steve because... <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, it's gonna be fine. They just walk straight through the room to the curtain area, actually, and go, they like draw the <laughs> They draw, the, the, sound they draw the curtain open, and Steve just goes, <laughs> and the cleaner, the best bit is the cleaner was literally like, <laughs> she just like went, <laughs> and she just sprinted out the room, going, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And she was so like scared and upset about what had happened, she had left her bottles of cleaning products. She had just oh. never came back for it. She never came back. Oh. Our room still hasn't been cleaned women. three days later. She never came back. You scared the cleaning lady straight out of the room. Oh. That sounds oh kind of sus. God. He has that effect on the women. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Now, I do have to tie this all back into Among Us, and we do have to talk about the morning <laughs> lobby because, seriously, I don't know about you guys, but it's played a huge factor in my life and meeting all of you guys, and, like, you guys became the second family, and yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of strong friendships uh, have been formed just in this group, so we have to talk about where it all started. So, Hafu, I know that I think it was you and Peter who invited me to the first group, but, like, how did this come about? Um, honestly, back in the day, the Among Us... Like getting into a lobby was the wild, wild west. You basically begged other people to see if you could play in anyone's lobby. And I would just sit there waiting on multiple discords and Twitter DMs and be like, do you have a spot, do you have a spot, do you have a spot? And then it was always stressful getting in. And G ran this, Over where is here? she? G Hi. ran this amazing <laughs> lobby um, that Dakota's DK um, invited me too, and he's like, oh, they're just like lovely people. It's like, they're, they're so nice, they're really chill, you should try and see if you like it. And I joined the lobby and they literally talk like, did I see you um, <laughs> murders um, someone over there? And it's like, no, that couldn't have been me. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry to have accused you and put you in this stress. I was like, what am I listening to? <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, but I, we had so much fun there. Unfortunately, it got uh, more and more crowded where like you would queue up in the morning and I would queue like wake up two hours early to queue into that lobby. Mm -hmm. And so I did the usual, you know, wake up two hours early, queue into it. Um, and I'm 31st in line. <laughs> and I was like, huh? <laughs> this is like two hours early. There's 31 people ahead of me. This is screwed, you know? Yeah. Um, and ten, or, like the normal starting time starts and there's like six people ready to play. And I'm like, okay, well, if no one's gonna be here, like, I'm gonna sit in, and then Deke is gonna sit in, and then, um, like, 15 minutes later, when people start trickling in late, they're like, you have my spot. And I'm like, okay, you're right, but this is also kind of dumb that you're queuing the day before. I was like, Deke, you wanna, like, leave, make our own lobby, and we'll have a spot every day. We don't have to go through the stress. We don't have to wake up at, like, 3 a.m. to queue. And he's like, you have my sword. <laughs> and then I was like, five up, what do you think? Like, do you want to be part of this lobby? We'll have a spot every single day. And he's like, yeah, I can invite people. We can invite people. We'll make it how we want it. Yeah, no, waking up at 2 a.m. every day just to try and reserve a spot in 45th and lot. It was just, it was <laughs> no too fun. much for yeah. you. And so it just felt bad trying to reserve like 
yeah, can we like not do this? So uh, we started a lobby. We're like, you know what? Let's take our friends from here, the people that we like we had a really good time with, and kind of chose the, all the fun little personality quirks of everybody and kind of mashed them together and formed the morning lobby with it. Now, so I want to ask one more question about that, but I do also want to remind everyone in chat. I see you right now. I have you on the little tablet right here. Hi, uh, we see you and we love you. Well, we love <laughs> most of you anyways. So we may take some chat questions later in this hour. So go ahead, ask away. And as some of you may have noticed, feature chats could pop up at any oh. time. But as you guys were just saying about, you know, kind of forming this lobby that has been incredibly wholesome and it's been fun. It has its chaotic moments, <laughs> but still it feels like everyone in here is just here to have an amazing and great time. So what was it like kind of picking who you wanted to play with and picking who you thought, uh, I guess, like would be a good fit? Uh, it was kind of like a dynamic role between us two where Hafu kind of formed the core fortress of people. So like she did the main stuff and my job was to uh, like find more of we're gonna go from this community and we're gonna pick from this community. And it's like little additions that we trickle in for a, a more of a variety experience. So it was kind of just reached like, I think every part of Twitch in general, like the entire range of the website and just inviting people meeting to it. It was like Among Us was a wild thing of, you get to meet so many fun people just from all the different communities that are like, yeah, we're gonna have train wrecks with XQC, with Hafu, yeah, with so like, just all these, just random, like a whole different cultures of the internet and uh, just see how it mashes together and it stuck, it was great. Yeah, it seemed like everyone, whether you know they were a specific gamer or whether, whether they were doing like IRL stuff, everyone could join in and just enjoy Among Us, which was really sweet. But of the group of players that we had, we always had our troublemakers, I guess you could say. Who's <laughs> <laughs> your favorite? Um, yeah, right. We had some troublemakers, uh, but we also had a musician in our group, and uh, it seems like awesome. one of them kind of came out with this song that may not have been related to Among Us, Aww. but uh, someone found a way to connect it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my Ooh. god. Uh -oh. music video was animated by, I want to pronounce this correctly, Floof Hips, Ooh. I believe. The video uh, is so sweet. It really is. So sweet. <laughs> That's the Did only you... reason that I want that song played, is just because the video is so cute. <laughs> when you were, uh, you know, making and recording that song, did you ever think, man, this is going to be a perfect way to talk about this one Among Us game <laughs> I played one day? No, the song's about incels. I was not thinking about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that game, though? Among Us? <laughs> <laughs> That game based off of you and Miku's game. You no! Do I remember an Among Us game? Same! <laughs> it was an iconic game! I don't remember what happened last week. <laughs> well, Steve, Steve, do you remember a bit? Because I remember seeing your character does the little dancey dance on camera. I think Peter gets killed at something. Was it a storage thing? These motherfuckers killed. kill me a lot, all right? So, like, you know, you have to be more specific. <laughs> But it was still like a really cute moment. Yeah. Um, and it sure. seemed like there was a lot of fans and like the community went crazy for it. I think there was even like a full reaction thread. Does anyone remember reacting to it? I feel like I saw your reaction from it. No, no one remembers? I don't remember. No, everybody reacted. Everyone, 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 everyone saw the video. Everyone reacted, it's everyone insane. saw it, and yet no one remembers. Is this what happens after years of being gaslit? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Does it affect memory? <laughs> No, yeah. this is being a streamer, honestly. And that, yes. <laughs> I feel like being a streamer for so long, you just, it kind of, every day blends in. <laughs> Especially when you get so many subs all the time <laughs> and to constantly, to constantly have to look at chat and go, oh, th oh thanks, oh, thanks, oh. <laughs> 
Does anyone have maybe just one game that they do remember or one game that like really sticks out to them? Ooh. Or they all just... They all kind of blend into one. Though I do always remember every time that like the start of the lobbies, if I ever got imposter with either half it or five up, it was just extra pressure oh, oh, to yeah. like perform. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like if I got it with like, it's funny how depending on who it came up on the screen with, mm -hmm. depending on your reaction, like if you got it with like Steve or Koji or Elam, you're like, right, okay. Yeah. There we go, the cabbie's on. <laughs> what? Whereas if you got it with like half or five, you're like, oh God, the pressure's on. Like I need to not throw it for them. So it was always a fun dynamic of like, you'd see it pop up, you're like, yeah, oh no. Like, <laughs> So then the first time that you guys all got together, because I believe it was what you had like a thing in Vegas where everyone joined up, everyone got to meet in person, or maybe for it was- birthday. It was for yeah. your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. I don't know when it is, but, <laughs> but when you guys did all eventually meet, was it like an instant connection or was yeah. it just like a little bit of like, oh, you're not a jelly bean anymore. You're no, definitely. Oh. Um, these people, I've spent more time with them like than I spend with my husband. <laughs> we were waking up and we were playing every single day and we would hang out. It's not like a normal streamer friendship where you're like, oh, we're in the same community, what's up, right? It's like we're hanging out. We're literally playing games together for, you know, four or five hours a day. And then we would like sometimes say like code names or something after. Yeah. It, was, it was a really good time and I had something to look forward to. It was almost like school. It was. Yeah. School? No, it but was. like in, but in a like a, like a like a fun school. Yeah. <laughs> Not like fun school. Sorry to all And like that. a hangout <laughs> after class. Yeah. It, and like even waking Camp. up that early, I was like, oh, school, you know, like <laughs> oh, among us. But once you're there, it's like you see all your friends, and it's like, oh, this isn't so bad. Yeah. Without the bullying. I didn't hear what you said at all. Without the bullying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they're still bullying for sure, you fool. <laughs> and then uh, Ellen, this is weird, but uh, this oh, isn't no. your first TwitchCon, right? No. No, 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 please. Sorry, oh, we don't have the yes, please. <laughs> no, 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 please, please, please. I don't want to relive it. I, don't, I was joking. Reenactment. I can't reenact it. I can't. Oh, that's perfect. We just what? have the clip, right? Are you actually going to put on the there clip? There was something There's that no happened at the previous TwitchCon. <laughs> yeah, I did an obstacle course, and it was the worst experience of my entire life. I haven't seen what happened with this obstacle So basically, OK, so it was me, Koji, and G, and I was the first one out of the three to do this obstacle course. And there was like this pyramid which was made for like children, right? And I thought I had just had to build the pyramid, but it had to match the colors oh. as well. And for some reason, I just couldn't do it. So the host is like basically having to help me do it, but I, my hands are like this. So I'm freaking out entirely. <laughs> then my legs are like concrete. So these like these, there's like these hurdle things. They're probably like this big, like I could step over them. But because I was so nervous, I just ran through the whole thing. Oh. And then, and then they, re, they like put them up again. Like I became so self-conscious. I did like this half horse, like <laughs> jump. And then I got back to the end, and Koji saw me, and I'm like this, like coming off the stage. And it was just the worst experience of my entire life, so Aww, yeah. Like, <laughs> and then Koji broke the record, he got the fastest time. Yeah, like, he did, yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's like been people there practicing the course, and like they, it was like a tradition in uh, Amsterdam, right? It was like a thing they yeah. played at school. Oh. And somehow I just <laughs> floated around this course and set like a record time. I don't know what happened. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I was like front flipping off things. I don't even know how to front flip. Can you front flip? <laughs> I don't know. Go on. No. Do a flip. No. Do a flip. <laughs> Do a <laughs> flip. Like, oh. flip. <laughs> Well, and then um, G almost, almost knocked herself out as well, yeah. so that was fun. I thought it would be at the end, there was like a slide, and I was like, oh, I'll do like a roly-poly down this, but when you start rolling, you can't stop rolling. <laughs> so I rolled off the end, smashed my head on the floor, my camera came oh on, they, came, like, they come like running over to me like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> it was like a hard wooden floor at the bottom of this thing. Yeah. Oh, God. It's okay, man. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm hearing is that you guys shouldn't be allowed to participate in we those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, no, we, we did come second. How? Like, yeah, I know, but you're you're, you're cheating what? somehow. You're doing front flips and you don't even <laughs> remember. <laughs> Let's get the blood tested, you know? Like, we got to... <laughs> that's, that's suspicious. But what I'm but, hearing is that we should put Among Us in Twitch Rivals. Mm. Oh, Somehow, I have no idea yeah. how the. We've well, you done it. We've done it. Yeah, but I need it. I need it in person. I want to oh, see, like, you know, so Steve bad. running around oh, trapping people in storage. Peter trapping people in that the is horrifying. <laughs> right? Oh, Don't horrifying. give him more you mean like a real life thing? to be creepy. You say it's creepy. I say content. <laughs> <laughs> Still but creepy. If there was like IRL just among us where we could get even like the chat, we could get the audience involved. I wonder how that would play. You're smart. How would that work? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we would need a set director, but I could actually probably make it work as long as we have a studio job. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm on it right Seriously? now. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I think venting would be a little bit scuffed. You'd probably feel like, you'd just like, 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 like a McDonald's crawl through tube shovel. thing, but you know? <laughs> you solid snake it, like you yeah. put the cardboard box on and you're just crawling. Just crawl through everything, but no, it could probably work. You just have people like close doors on it, yeah. Plus, she's, do you think that you could run through? Do you Absolutely think that you'd survive? Not. Yeah. No? No, no. no. We're talking about an in real life among us in real life mm -hmm. situation yes right? um no yeah i can't even do it online so i don't <laughs> think i'm able to do it in real life you say you can't do it online but you had a couple games like a couple weeks ago where you were imposter and you just destroyed yeah. everyone yeah. so you're sneaky when you need to be yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> She's Kramer. gaslighting me right now. <laughs> no one remembers anything. Any. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's totally fine because memories disappear. And then as well, frustrations can always run high when you're in a lobby that's getting absolutely folded. And from that frustration, occasionally, we get something fun. Oh. I love yeah. this one. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Video. 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 <laughs> Video. Oh, Give me a P. Give me an E. Give me a T. T. Y. D. K. S. Penny all the time. Give me a P. Give me an E. Give me a T. T. Y. D. K. S. Penny all the time. Okay, but wait, can I sing a song real yeah, quick? Yeah, go, 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 okay, go, okay, go, okay, go. so the right, right track came up with this one. Okay, so basically it goes like this. Uh -huh. other guy on YouTube, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, someone made that song and you did a cover of it? Uh, yeah, you... I, I kind of like mixed up the words a bit, but yeah, I didn't make this up. <laughs> I made up the, when can I poop? When can I poop? <laughs> I made that one up. Classic. Yeah, that one. Can we have a live one. performance of No, that, please? please, no, please. I'm live performance? I'm gonna cry. Live <laughs> performance? Oh my god, no! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing! Fucking go, dude! Let's get it! I don't even remember. What, what am I gonna <laughs> Do you need a beat? Okay. How does the beat go? <laughs> when will I poop? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, easily. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way we're singing about this. The best moment in your life. When will I poop? This is not the right <laughs> When will I poop? When will okay, I poop? Stop, stop. Will it be today? Will it be tomorrow? When will I poop? <laughs> when will I poop? <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Ellen and Peter, are you guys hiding any uh, magical music that we don't know about? Oh, fuck no. No, 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 no way. No musical talents? No, no coming up with absolutely beatbox not. and rap on the spot? No, I got Peter, nothing. You, you, know, you have some pipes on you. Peter can sing can really sing. well. Yeah, you can sing? It's a different Peter kind of piping. Peter can sing really well. <laughs> no, I'm well, I feel like Steve should do a cover of that song because it's actually relevant for him right oh, now. Oh, no. <laughs> no, oh. I don't have <laughs> I'm super busy today. <laughs> this is your first time at the con today, of all three days. What have yes. you been doing? I've <laughs> been playing Valorant. <laughs> Dude, OK. I got comms working, and I get like I played Viper on Breeze, and I got like three kills in an overtime, uh, and I was like, it's still winnable. And this dude's Where like, shut the Where fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I've been thinking about for the past two days is just these mean ass teammates that I keep getting. It's not, it's neither for here nor there, oh but God. it's been a really bad streak of losses. And sorry if I seem grumpy today. It's because of that. <laughs> Have you tried playing better? <laughs> dude. I'm never locking Viper again, that's for sure. Holy <laughs> fuck. 
I understand. If we if we like wheeled out a laptop for you right now to play Valorant, I would play. Yeah. Can we wheel out a laptop for some? <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, nope. it wasn't in the budget. We blew it on the DK plushie. Sorry about that. <laughs> it has a mouth. All his hairline there. <laughs> It looks so good. It's, you know, everyone has to dress up for TwitchCon. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people with purple hair for TwitchCon. A lot of people yeah. saying they dyed their hair purple for TwitchCon. I'm like, that's commitment. Yeah. That is definitely a commitment. Um, but again, another video because communication can be difficult in any setting with 11 people, with open mics, and occasionally it could lead to people mishearing <laughs> words. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Wow, good kill. <laughs> Thanks. Um, great to see you guys here. Hi, Steve. Steve How are you, you feeling? Steve? I'm not part of your guys' fears, Bro, let's man. kill Kimmy How's together, your cock, like... Steve? How's my what? Your what? COTC. Oh. oh. <laughs> Isn't that how you pronounce it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Kimmy. <laughs> Congratulations, Kimmy. <laughs> Kimmy, how's your what? Um, cock. <laughs> cock. Yeah, cock. Cock. How, Steve, how's your cock? It rolls off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Steve, what is cock or C O T C? Dude, you guys said you were not. First off, I thought there was an audience Q&A, and then when I found out that there wasn't that, I was like, oh, then I'm never going to be asked about this, and then you were here. <laughs> Good God. I you want a real Jeff. answer? I want the real answer. I think everyone wants the real answer. The real answer is I stole it from my friend James. <laughs> it's not even mine. Aren't you disappointed? <laughs> and he stole it from the internet from COTC Hospital or something. It was like that. Don't meet your heroes. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what else have you said? The <laughs> so Valorant game's that bad. Oh, God. I, mean, I didn't hear what you said. Was it mean? Did you say something mean to me? I didn't, I didn't hear. <laughs> What'd you say, five up? Or the Valorant game's that bad? <laughs> Wait, I still didn't hear what you said. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay. The Valorant games what? that bad. You didn't hear him either. You didn't even hear him. The Valorant games, games were that bad? No, I heard Peter say it actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have in your mics, or so we. It's very echoey up here. Yeah. So we're like, what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> we're like ten feet away from each other. So yeah. They're guessing. People are just guessing. That's just a bad hearing. You want to water? But as I look at everyone that we have on stage right now, part of me just I, I need to ask and I need to wonder, who do we think is like the most sus? Out of everyone that oh, we Koji, have on the couch. It's not me, man. It's, 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 it's Koji. It's definitely not me. Koji's the best is liar. Koji? For sure. <laughs> All I ever do is be myself. You make me feel like shit every, every time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, like, it can't be Koji, man. He literally just said he's not an imposter. Like, he can't be lying to me. He's got such a beautiful British voice, too. Like, how could he lie to me? And he fucking stabs me in the back every goddamn time. I'm still just being myself, though, because I've been doing it to G the whole time we've been here. He and has. He yeah. Anytime she says something to me, I just make her feel bad for it. He takes it like, I'll say something, and he'll be like, gee, like, why'd you say that? I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, that's just him naturally, you know? Yeah. Koji really took the life lessons from Among Us and applied them to real life as well. Yeah, he really did. Cat's life's outside the game. <laughs> Wait, then, oh if Koji's potentially the sussiest, who's the most wholesome of the group? Oh, wholesome. Oh, it's definitely Steve. A cozy Kimmy? resume, always yeah, good. Kimmy. Kimmy. Kimmy? Kimmy. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like yes. some guys. He's yeah. still angel. I am so angel. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Kimmy because it's also in game. If Kimmy starts talking and she's imposter, that's when you know she's imposter. Yeah. <laughs> Kimmy's too sweet. You're too sweet. Wait, Kimmy, do you remember when we first started playing? Hmm? Oh, I was so bad. I every day I'm like, Hawkeye's not inviting me back, and oh. I'm completely okay with this because I am so bad at this game. But bless Hawkeye's soul, I'm still here, and I think I got a lot better. <laughs> You're so good now. Yeah. Yeah. You're so yeah. good. Yeah. Actually, everyone got so much. Our our lobby is like a training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because every 
No offense, guys. <laughs> Everyone was kind of bad. We were kind of bad. And then we all got too good. Your eyes are still bad. There's a reason. Let's be honest. Yeah. Woo! I feel like it's you, Sam, and then Sam. 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 Five Up and Dumb Dog, who are always the ones who kind of like put people through their paces. Mm -hmm. So like when I'm imposter, I go for you first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, the difference was like when we were starting off, we kind of like immediately, like, oh, how do we minimax this game to be good? Yeah. And then when Steve started, he was like, the lights turned off and he was hiding in a wall corner, yeah. like the first time we played with him. Just, it's like a kid playing hide and seek. Hide <laughs> so and just, no, I, the first time I played with Steve, strand. I was like, he had like, uh, like a hundred viewers, but I was like, I love him and I want to play with him every day. And I was like, I don't know if you're willing to wake up at 8 a.m. And Steve's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you want to play tomorrow? Yes. I was like, you guys I are sweet. You and I wanted day. the clout. <laughs> <laughs> so Hafu was responsible for your success in streaming? Oh yeah. Aww. Big time. No, I owe so much to Hafu Aww. and Five Up and everyone in this group. I really do. You guys are so sweet. I and I, like I, I feel so lucky. I think this is so strange that we're all like, this is where it's at now. It's really cute. I feel blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Steve and Wholesome? Wow. I know. Yeah, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. 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 I was waiting for someone else to come. I was like, I need Someone clip it. <laughs> like, is he trying to get the most wholesome award? Or is oh, he <laughs> trying to steal your award? He can want it all. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to kill him. <laughs> sure. I was looking, we had a couple people in the Twitch chat. They were saying some things. I saw someone say that morning lobbies got them through their early morning university Aww. classes. Aww. Um, you I guys are watching during class? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but you pay attention to school? Listen, man, if I had no. any impact on your grades, <laughs> that's <kidding>. my bad. <laughs> I mean, even for me, because I did not wake up at 8 in the 8 a.m. for anything except for morning lobby. Aww. And that was always like the best way to start my day where it's like jump in, get a little bit gaslit, that's totally <laughs> fine, maybe pick up a kill here or there as an imposter. And yet it was just kind of like catching up with everyone as we were dead and everyone else was <laughs> dead. In. Oh, yeah. yeah like, I think it was like it the is. perfect sort of like culmination of things of like obviously at the time when Among Us blew up was when the pandemic was on, so no one could be anywhere. We all didn't have anything else to do. So suddenly everyone wanted, was like, yeah, you can get 10 people in. Like trying to get 10 people now is a challenge, mm -hmm. sometimes because everyone's so busy. But like, I think that was why it took off and allowed us all to get to know each other so much. And also like, we played every day and we'd sit for hours and it definitely like was a way that you brought in people you didn't know before. And I think that's sort of just sort of like, it was the perfect combination of things that allowed it to blow up to where it did and then to where we are now. Mm -hmm. So then I do want to take this moment and just kind of like ask, go by everyone, one by one, but what does the morning lobby mean to you? And what does this group of people mean to you? And we'll start with you, Plushies. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. cry. <laughs> if there's a single dry oh. eye in this room, I will find you and I will spit it. <laughs> cry. Cry. Oh gosh, I don't know. This, I feel like I set the tone it's going first. Okay, well, I think, okay, off the top of my head, I'll say that, like, I remember I was going through, like, a really hard time back then, and I just joined Hafu's Discord, and I saw them playing, like, Among Us, and one day I just happened to be up, like, pretty early, and I'm like, I wonder how I can, like, play with them. So I messaged Hafu, and Hafu's like, yeah, come on on uh, tomorrow. I was like, oh my gosh, he was like so warm and welcoming. I felt so like invited and welcomed. And I'm like, okay. So then I was like so bad, but everyone was so sweet to me, even though, you know, at first everyone was like kind of making fun of me, but that's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then from there, after, after so many games and so many like days together, it just kind of built like this like routine in my life. And I just made me a lot happier being with everybody. And I don't know, I'm so sorry, I didn't rehearse this or anything. Aww, but so it, it meant a lot. So yeah, thank you, Hafu, and everyone here. <laughs> um, I think, like, for me, because obviously I started the lobbies before, I have so much respect for, like, Hafu and Five Up for being able to sort it, because it's literally like a full-time job having to sort lobbies. But yeah, Among Us, like, in the pandemic, like, I generally like think it like saved me. Um, it was just so nice to meet people, and I've like made some best friends and stuff. And yeah, I'll always like thank so much to Among Us. <laughs> yeah, for me, I mean, I've like it's kind of like just meeting a bunch of friends. I, I mean, I've been a very private person my entire life, so like 
kind of gave me a lot more confidence, made me a lot more comfortable. I mean, I face reveal a lot of it was because of these guys, because I wanted to like go out and hang out with them and meet them and do a lot of fun stuff. So it was like, it meant a lot to me. It was like a lot. I'll never forget when you came up to me at Streamer Awards and you're like, <laughs> do you know who I am? And I'm like, what? He's like, it's me. And I heard your voice and I went, oh my God. And I just freaked out because I've only only seen like the radish. <laughs> the cardboard box on the first the cardboard show. Cardboard like... box. But it was it was so sweet to uh, hear that, you know, it helped give you confidence yeah. and everything. Because you deserve it. He deserves a confidence. He does. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> of course. I think for me, like, obviously, I ended up getting invited through Five Up because Five Up was interested in MCC and I was yep. interested in Among Us. So we were like, hey, we <laughs> should do a little trade. So I remember joining that group and just A, being blown away by how nice everyone was, but also the difference. And like, obviously, when Half had mentioned there, like, the UK group were so polite. <laughs> and I was like, used to like that or my other friends who weren't as good. <laughs> So then that girl, I felt like I was thrown into the pros who would just like be like, you're a liar, you're a filthy liar. <laughs> I've seen you do it. And you're like, what's going on? But it was a lot of fun. I think, honestly, it's always a funny thing being like, a lot of these people are people I consider like some of my best friends. And it's people that we met and became friends through gaslighting each other and mm -hmm. lying to each other. And it's just made of a lot of connections that like I wouldn't have otherwise had. And obviously getting to like go out to Vegas last year and hang out with everyone for like a have his birthday and friends giving and get to like see everyone. It was nice when we like obviously we took a break and then came back and I remember that first stream we did and it was everyone's like, oh, what have you been up to? Like, oh, I got a house and oh, I've moved. And it was just like a really cute catch up. So it's just been amazing for meeting so many amazing people. Um, when I think about like the morning lobby, I guess like I feel like so much pride Sorry, I'd, for I'd what we you. like achieved during obviously it was mentioned like the pandemic Good. and i feel like so proud like when i meet people in real life and they tell me like to my face your streams or like this lobby's the people in this lobby streams did this for me during that really hard time and it like really helped me get through it i can't like tell you how much that means to me because it's exactly why i got into content creation i just wanted to make people's lives better or give them an escape from whatever's going on so I just feel like so proud of like everyone in this room for what they did for other people and just to be a part of that. And the other thing that I really take away from this lobby is that when I joined it, I was pretty new to streaming. And it was like joining a lobby with who I believe are like most of the best creators on Twitch are in this room right now. And the other people that played in this, the other people that played in the lobby that aren't here and stuff like that. To be put in a lobby with people like that, it really like, molded me like I, I just feel like I would never be a good content creator without the people in this room because I feel like I just learned so much from them and I just like had to be a good content creator and I just I, I just so thankful for everyone in this room because I really do think that's the only reason I can make content now in the way I can because I learned from the best you're welcome you've done it yourself <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump to you fuck um <clears throat> hey put uh, on the that's, spot that's my fault uh I think the I think Hafu and the morning lobbies are like one of the biggest reasons why I'm able to stream full time now. Straight up, Aww. you guys were pivotal in terms of making this a viable career path. Like I never ever thought I, I never woke up one day and was going, I'm going to be a content creator. It just kind of like fell on my lap, like where I found opportunities through friends. But like honestly, the the DM that I got from Hafu asking me to be in the morning lobbies was like that was like pivotal in my streaming career. So like. I'm so grateful for her. I'm so grateful for everyone in it. I'm really grateful for the people I've met through it. Like, except for Steve. Just fuck Steve, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, Did you say Peter? I'm kidding. <laughs> Me and Steve actually finally went on that hike we always talked about. Aww. Like, Cute. I felt so bad. But then Peter couldn't walk for three weeks. But guess what? I injured my foot on that hike and I wasn't able to walk properly for almost a month. So that's how much I like you, okay, Steve? Mm. But uh, yeah, no, the morning libraries were amazing and uh it was just such a great opportunity for me to branch out and meet new people that i wouldn't otherwise because i feel like twitch could be very um insular sometimes like you could be really in your own bubble like and not need not feel the need to branch out but because of these morning lobbies i got to meet so many amazing fantastic content creators people like from across the pond and like it was it was invaluable to me and uh but it's not all good 
I will say. <laughs> waking up every day for an 8 a.m. lobby oh, yeah. was the fucking worst. I'm sorry. Like, there are times where I rolled out at 7.59 a.m., fucking skipped the intro stream. I'm like, fuck, we're straight into this shit. I'm fucking dying, like, brewing coffee, like, in the corner of my kitchen room thingy. I'm like, oh, God, oh, guys, hey, good morning. Uh, let's Among Us, shall we? But, uh, like, but, like I'm, that's incredibly entitled to me. Like, they honestly made streaming so easy during the pandemic. Like, straight up, they, like, they organized lobbies, they made sure there was something to do every day. And it was amazing, it was bliss, it was incredible. And like, um, I really look back on those days really fondly. And um, they made the pandemic, like, they kept me sane to the pandemic yeah. for sure. So, and yeah, I'm just incredibly grateful. So yeah. Love you, Peter. Love you too. <laughs> Yeah, if, to be honest with you, like, I pretty much similar to Peter. I, I kind of owe everything to Hafu and this group of people as to why I was able to kind of take streaming as like a full-time career path for me. And like everyone in here, they're some of my best friends. I've had like the best memories. Like my, my best streaming memories are all from this group of people. And then I've, obviously when we all met up and it was just, it was just like amazing. And uh, yeah, like it's just been, it's been such like a cool ride, you know? And I just, I just loved every minute of it, so yeah. I love these guys. <laughs> I think we can all say that we all love everyone yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, if you don't mind me, if you don't mind me just saying something, because it just made me think. Actually, I have to say, like, especially G and Harfu and Five Up and the people involved in organizing the lobbies, I have so much respect for you. But the most, the reason I have the most respect is because it was never about viewer numbers. Like, it was yeah. yes. like the fact that D and Harfu and Five Up and anyone DK gave me a chance when I was such a small streamer compared to everyone else in the lobbies. It just like has so much respect for that. And I'll, again, I'm just forever thankful and grateful because it really has, it's life changing, you know, like to be here now, it's completely life changing. <laughs> I mean, I'll jump in and just speak from my own perspective. Like, I remember, I think it was you and Peter both hit me up at the same time. Like, oh, we have an extra space in this lobby. And I was like, cool. And I jumped onto the computer to, uh, to play with you guys because seeing you guys play just as a viewer seems so fun and oh wholesome. God, wait, I remember that. Yeah. You got gaslit every time. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. See, I was going to skip over that part. So it was just wholesome. But there was, for the first I think like <laughs> week of playing, I'm like, oh, Hafu hates me. What? I'm like, oh, because I'd be like, oh, I think I saw Hafu vent. No, Avali, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Hafu vent walking around and then all of a sudden this little je yellow jelly bean comes out <laughs> in my back and I'm like, it still wasn't Hafu. I know it wasn't. I know Morphlings haven't been invented yet, but it couldn't have been her. She said it wasn't. <laughs> but like, that aside, similar to what everyone else is saying, like, I didn't want to wake up in the morning during the <laughs> pandemic. Like, I didn't need to. It was like 4 p.m. for me. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, it was never a problem for us. <laughs> it was it always was, confusing was, saying morning lobby, and it was like 4 in the afternoon. It was yeah. afternoon yeah. tea lobby for us. Yeah. <laughs> I have actual before and after photos of Among Us. Like, I could do, like, a meme that says, like, never do Among Us, because, like, I used to be skinnier, no bad. <laughs> I was like, dude, like 2019 TwitchCon photos versus now, I'm like, fuck, man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Among Us is a hell of a drug. I would never do it. Yeah. And yet, a wholesome drug at that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know about that, honestly. Really? You don't know about that? <laughs> well, OK, well, some people handle it a little bit better than others. But yeah, I mean, just even for me, the morning lobby was so impactful. It just in terms of having someone to speak with, having a group of friends that you know you can just jump into Discord with and hear another human's voice when we're all being isolated for two years. But so I want to say thank you for that as well. But Steve? Oh, I'll keep it short. Uh, but <laughs> 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 you came to me in a time where I really needed to feel needed um, and to have a routine. Um, and you pulled me out of a really dark place, the, the whole lobby did. And it was uh, really special to have that friendship. So thank you. I love you, Hafu. I love all you guys. <laughs> Steve stole my answer. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like probably the darkest time of my life. I like, dude, I don't know how to say this without my voice shaking. <sighs> um, <clears throat> like I remember I was even taking like two weeks off of streaming, just not streaming and then Hafu always gave me a spot and I felt needed and I felt like I always had a spot and it was like nothing clout related. It, it was just like, thank you. Seriously. Ah. Oh. Thank you. 
<laughs> we have to end with you, Hoffa. Uh, what does the morning lobby uh, mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Like, um, I think what me, Five Up, uh, DK, what we all were trying to achieve was having like a really fun space for everyone. Um, we didn't want clout to be a thing. Back in the Among Us days, you guys all know, trying to get into a lobby was about how many viewers you had and how many Twitter followers and all that stuff. And it was just exhausting. And I was like, dude, if I like playing with someone, I want to keep playing with them. I don't, I don't care who, you know, how big they are, how small they are. If they're a good time, they're a good time. And that's who I want to spend my time with if it's something I'm doing every day. And I'm really, really happy that you guys are here with me now. This is like, what, two years? Yeah. yeah, two years, years later, yeah. which it's, is crazy. It's probably over two years, actually. Three years, yeah. Yeah. And I have to probably say, like, four years. I've, no. spent <laughs> 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 I've spent more time with you guys than, like, uh, anyone that I've, like, hung out with um, as, like, a streamer friend online um, through my 10 years of streaming, which is crazy, you know? Like, I never really, I did, like, w collabs here and there for, like, one stream a month, maybe. But nothing like this, not an everyday thing. And I, I don't know. This is um, really special to me. So thank you guys. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for Hoffa for this. Uh, now, I know that the morning lobbies have touched, like, you know, all of us and impacted our lives in a lot of different ways. But also, there's a lot of fans and community members, viewers, uh, and, you know, followers who have also just been positively impacted by the morning lobby. I've ran into a couple of people who have said like, I would wake up in the morning, you would get me through like the early morning work, or like we said, like cl morning classes. And a lot of the community members went ahead and they shared their love for the lobby in different ways, like with fan arts. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. I can't hold it in anymore, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You need to poo? Yeah. You, you hit his mic, please. Hit his mic, yeah, hit his mic. Take his mic. Thank you. Oh, no. Uh, okay, uh, well, I, let's look at the fan art. It's cute. Good God, no. <laughs> Wait, Steve, I hear you. His mic is... Can we tell Steve that his mic is on? Please, please. Yeah, turn off his mic. Turn off. Oh, my God, Can we tell yeah. Steve that his mic is on before he goes? Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. This is live Twitch. <laughs> we can handle it. <laughs> but this is fan art from Hema, and Hema actually made a lot of these. And these are so cute. Like, look, we have everyone in here. Oh, Skaj and Sips. Scott, you're at the top right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cute. Sleepy. Wait, who's Dwayne? Uh, oh, the Rock. The Rock. Uh, the Rock and oh, Dwayne. Oh, funny story about that. <laughs> okay, I would always kill people next to Dwayne. Dwayne the Rock Johnson actually knows about that. That the Rock is really. Yes. Yeah. So our friend really? Lydia, oh, uh, good friends of uh, the Rock, I guess, and she said, "Oh, funny story. This entire lobby named this after you, and that is now immortalized." <laughs> yeah. Oh my so God. He actually knows. That's so cute. Oh, I love Wolfabelle up there with the angel halo. Before they released more colors, or before we got into the modded version, whenever me and Wolf were in a lobby together, it's like, who's gonna be white? <laughs> it's like, who's gonna be white and who's gonna change to an off color? I usually change to the off color. Because <laughs> she's so cute and like the little- Yeah, the angel. Get up. Oh, it's a brown. penguin costume that you're in. We were literally oh, talking super, about super that cute. before we got on stage of like what all of her outfits used to be. And like, obviously we were saying like half these were the yellow with the blue and like five up would be the pink one with his little scarf Snowman. and it's a pink man. I had the flamingo hat like we were all remembering what we used to wear in that because obviously with Maudie there's so many more options now mm -hmm. but back in the day we all had our little signature things it was cute. Oh, it's it's like, let's go ahead and see yeah. the next one. Wow, wow. it's so good. I, I remember this by noon. Wow. I've never seen this. Did you not? You haven't seen this one? It's nice. beautiful. You should use it as like your desktop. Yeah. paper. it's so Yeah, or you ask them if you can print it out as like a desk mat. Like oh. a oh. Just go into my shoe. oh yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> this has a mouse right. pad, but it looks so But let's go ahead, because we have another one. I know, he's fucking. Oh, oh this is cool. By Blue, so Blue Boon, I think. Blue, Blue Bun. Bun. Blue Bun. There we go. I'm sorry. It's far away. I can't read it. Five of your eyes are better than mine. You're younger than me. I'm turning around, to be honest. Oh, no. <laughs> this one's cool. Does it give? It gives me very much imposter vibes, and I'm scared. <laughs> the killers, yeah. Very, very scared. I also love how we still have your radish head. Yeah, I oh, know. Yeah. Or the turnip head, right? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's just whatever more lies. Let's go ahead and see the next one. Oh. Oh. This one's from Hema as well. Look at everyone so fancy. I love this one. It looks like it should be a TV show. Like, I'd watch it. Like yeah. cool. <laughs> An anime. <laughs> the, one, the one thing I liked about this Morning was... Lobby anime win. <laughs> we need the funding for it. Yeah. But we have oh another God. photo that we could take a look at. Another fan art piece. Wow. Oh, this That's one's so cute. cool. Oh, cute, cute. Oh, my God. This is piss. It's like piss. <laughs> that was Steve's. Yeah. Steve's yeah. Yeah. He was pissed. <laughs> Oh, I love how some of them are torn. And it's just DK with the knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's accurate. Oh. Yeah, very accurate. It's super cute. Oh, they gave uh, Dumb Dog a little puppy nose, too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, let's see the next one. Wow. This one's oh, cool. Yeah. Thing. cool one. Wow. You guys made us seem so much cooler in the fan art. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. We're, we're just, just like beans, beans with <laughs> game, but like this is like some anime shit. It was pretty dope. Someone drew fan art of me and they gave me massive boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. I instantly saved the art. Oh, you have and no I'm, idea what's coming your way now, then. Yeah, so. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm like, this is the best photo ever. And someone's like, that? Are you sure that's you? I'm like, I see the glasses. I see the glasses. It's me, and I'm going to take it, and it's now my phone background. <laughs> but this is really cool. It, it's also like the very much uh, I'm going to wipe everyone out vibes along with mm -hmm. it looks like DK is accusing someone, and Steve is maybe over a body. And then Hoff is just the overlord of everything. Yeah, the yeah. overlord. I'm just like stressed out. In the but back. OK, I think we have one more, right? But I don't think it's on the screen. Wait, where's the where's the last piece of fan art? Where's do you wait, what is it? What? Wait, wait, there should be one more. <laughs> I think the ship was a red what? herring. <laughs> oh it's my so God. cute. Oh. And it's for you, Hapu. And it's a gift for you, Hapu. Oh. Oh. It's so sweet, right? Oh, oh my God. God. That's so cool. Oh. That's so cute. Oh. 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 Wait, so you didn't go poop? No, I do have to, though. Oh. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's so cool. Did you got my My Hero t shirt? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is only like a small capsule of memories and I members was. from the morning lobby that you have had such an amazing impact on throughout the years that you've been doing this. Everyone here loves you, the fans in the community love you. I think the world loves you at this oh. point, as they should. <laughs> yeah. We love you, Hafu. Oh, we love you, oh. our panel. Not oh. Do we say oh. panel? We meant bring tissues. Oh, <laughs> Thank but you so is... much. I don't know what to say. This is amazing. <laughs> Who, how, how, when, what? Uh, uh, I mean, you always know fan art. I, I think that's like the language. Just everyone understands what it means. So I wanted just like a little oh celebration my God. of. Yeah. It's Wait, you did this? Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. It's perfect. Who drew this? Hema. Oh my god, Hema, oh you're god. so freaking talented. Hema's so oh, you the hell? really so are. Amazing. I was reading the prompt, I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you I think you can find really can you point everyone, everyone out in the yeah. photo? Yeah. Yeah. Has everyone there's little oh, Easter eggs yeah. in there everywhere? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, I mean yeah. that dumb nose is Elam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that's so Elam. This is Steve. <laughs> so good now. <laughs> there's Koji. We even have jobs in there. Oh and and oh, your dogs, your dogs. My dogs are even in. Oh, yeah. yeah, I do I just saw that. Oh, yeah. 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 This is, this is Kimmy. Oh, yeah, Tina and Karen. Oh, my oh God. and then your, your, your snowballs there. My, but your phone says There's justice danger. for the wind. <laughs> 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 oh, this, this one, so this good. one is Janet? That one's Janet, right? That yeah, I have chocolate Janet. earrings. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100% Oh, there's Sorry. DK. Oh, my God, that's, so that's Gumi. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. What is that oh, one? What is this? H bomb? I don't know who you're pointing at. I can't see. Oh, the the pan what is that? The little food? Uh, <laughs> so there's like a oh toast God, over there. Tina. There's a Tina. Tina. God, there's a Tina. Tina. 
<laughs> and these are all people that we can go try to track down at uh, TwitchCon as well if they are currently walking the, the floor. But with that being said, that is all the time that we have for the morning lobby. So thank you all so much for coming out, sharing your story, sharing the memories. And thank you, everyone, for watching. And remember, every Wednesday morning. <laughs> yeah, 10 a.m., 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. now. 10 a.m. <laughs> PST. 10 a.m. PST, Hafu's channel. Everyone's, everyone's channel. channel. Everyone's yeah. channel yeah. here on Twitch. You guys can tune in every Wednesday morning. But for everyone else, that is it for us here. But stay tuned for more TwitchCon, because we have all kinds of good stuff coming up. And I heard that there may be puppets? I don't know. Uh. Bye. Bye. Bye.